Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls right here in Amsterdam. Ashley with InBroadcast, joining me is Frederick of BCE, hello. Hello Ashley. Hi, so can you tell me where does the company stand right now in the media and broadcasting world? No, so BC is actually providing um, integration services. This is what we are known for. We are also providing broadcast operations um, from our headquarters in Luxembourg. And we are addressing more and more other services, uh, digital services, cloud-based, and, and so forth. So. Very good. And what trends are you noticing as far as technology in the media and broadcasting industry? So after the COVID, we discovered that our customers are really willing for us to give them the best support uh, to achieve their projects, their challenges, uh, without having to invest too much money. So this is a big, big challenge. But so, although we, we found ways to circumvent this and to really go along with them, to be partners and to really address their, their, their challenges. Very good. And what are you showcasing here currently at IBC? So we showcase two things. So the, the huge success that we had in terms of system, in, uh, system integration. Uh, so we build up um, OBI vans, so we have big infrastructure projects for multi-millions. And then we address, as I mentioned, this uh, new approach of managed services, media as a service, uh, that address more the tier two. So uh, companies that are either are not directly coming from the broadcast industry and they need to address somehow the video needs. So could be the printing industry or I mean um, or insurance or big Fortune 500 companies that really need to address this they would like to do this in the right way with the best quality possible and this is where we go along with them thanks to the knowledge that we gathered for the last 30 years and can you tell me a little bit more about your latest developments and what territories would really take an interest in this yeah, so we highly developed the, the business in France, thanks to our team, BC France, and also Freecasters. So uh, doing coverage and streaming from uh, for uh, fishing houses, LVMH. So this is an example of a customer that is not expected to be on the broadcast part, but for whom we provide a lot of services. Um, we are also developing the business in Germany. So we just opened an office uh, in Munich, so starting from July 1st. And uh, yeah, That's very indeed. Thanks. Yeah. So, and that's my next question. Actually, is where do you see the the company going in the future? What's next for you? Well, we really need to develop this cloud-based and full digital platform. So this is this is really the next trend. So, once again, we are very good into the linear. Uh, we are serving millions of viewers uh, through our broadcast operation, but still, the uh, digital part will bring more. Um, well, opportunities actually. So thanks to the COVID, we learned how to manage um, remote projects, uh, avoiding the carbon footprint. So if there is no need to move person, why do, should we do so? Um, really, really try to optimize, but still keeping in mind the quality uh, for the viewers at the end. Absolutely. Well, uh, for those that want to know more, please check out their website. And thank you so much for speaking with us today.